Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the segments of Cord's theorem. So here in yellow we have what this theorem states, then we're going to look at this diagram here and then we're going to do a couple examples together. It says if two chords intersect in the interior of a circle, then the product of the lengths of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the segments of the second chord. So it's a little wordy, but let's look at this diagram right here. So we have two chords. We have chord A, B, and we have chord C, D and they are intersecting right here at point E. So if we think about these two chords uh, being separated into four segments of a chord, okay? So we have a segment here, we'll call this like segment one, AE. Segment two would be EB. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply those two segments together. So that's where we have AE times EB. And that is going to be equal to the segment CE and segment ED. We will multiply those two together as well. So here we have AE times EB is going to be equal to CE times ED. So whenever we have two segments that are intersecting in the interior of a circle, we can just set their products equal to each other um, and solve for whatever we need. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples here and let's find the length of each chord, okay? So for number one, we are given um, a measurement of six, a measurement of eight, a measurement of four, and a measurement of X. So we know that these two we can multiply together, so six times eight is equal to, and four times x. Okay, so let's fix that. There we go. All right, so now we can just solve. So six times eight is 48, and if we wanna divide both sides by four, we get x is equal to 12. Okay, so now we know that x is equal to 12. So if this is 12, then we know this chord right here would be 16, and we know this chord right here is 14, okay? All right, now for number two, we have a segment of a chord that is x, a segment that is x plus six, a segment that is x plus one, and a segment that is x plus four. So let's go ahead and multiply these together. So the first ones we're gonna do will be x times x plus six, and we're gonna set that equal to x plus one times x plus four. Okay, so here we gotta remember a little bit of algebra. So four on the left side, we're just going to distribute this x. So we get x squared plus six x. And now on the right side, we have two binomials, so we can FOIL this, right? So x times x is x squared. Then we would have x times four, four x. One times x is x, so that's gonna end up being five x. And four times one is four. And now we just wanna solve here. Well, we do have an x squared on both sides, so we can subtract x squared, and that's gonna cancel those out. So now we have six x equals five x plus four, so we can subtract five x from both sides, and we're left with x is equal to four. So now if x is equal to four, then we know this would be four plus one, so this would be a measurement of five, this would be 10, this would be eight, and this would be four. So now we know that this chord is four plus 10, so 14, and this chord here is 13. All right, now if we look at the four, five, eight, and 10 that we just plugged in there, uh, we can check our work, right? So if we do four times 10, that's 40, and five times eight, that is also 40. So we know we did it correctly, okay? And that is the segment of chords theorem.